Hi guys, welcome to the kitchen, you guys. So, uh, I wasn't gonna paint tonight. I had no intentions of painting, but I happened to walk past the kitchen and my paints had yelled at me. So, why not? Why not? Just one. So we're gonna paint on this. We're gonna pour over this, but we're just gonna kind of call it puddle play because I don't really have a destination tonight. Um, I'm hooked on transfer swipes or bloom transfers or any kind of transference of paint. So I think tonight we are just going to play with some puddles and lay them down. So I was fiddling around with colors before you guys joined me. And there's my first puddle. So we're just going to kind of work on that. And I just literally did nothing more than poured some dirty, dirty base, which was left over from last night's pour that I haven't showed you guys yet. Um, dirty base, and we're just going to literally just play with color. And they're all mixed up. There is no rhyme or reason for anything tonight. I'm just using up some leftover stuff. Um, and I'm really just looking for some fun things to work with. So a little bit of black. And a little bit of my weird beige which is Amster, Amsterdam calls it warm gray, but it's not gray. Um, this one is Deco Art Bronze. This one is a TLP. So I used this a couple weeks ago or a week ago, and it started as ball gown mixed with the tiniest little bit of Harvest Orange in it. And I think it was too thin, so I ended up adding a Gladwell Pouring Medium, which I thought was my Bear 8300, and it was actually my Velspar mix which is quite opaque. So now it has an opaque look, but it dries the same, which I found quite interesting. Um, that was just plain old white. And then this is Boom Gel in metallic charcoal and Boom Gel in black. And I'm gonna blow this out. I'm not expecting much of anything. Um, and then I may just mix it all back together and we'll use that as our first kind of puddle, puddly thing to play with. Okay, here we go, guys. So lots of black and white, which is all right. Um, should we transfer this? Or should we just mix it all up? Let's mix it and let's just pour out whatever the mixed version of this is. Just like that, kind of, I think. Now you're all wondering, hmm, hmm, you see, hmm, to me. Oh, crap on a cracker, you guys. Oh, there's like bronze paint for the next 15 feet in my 10 foot kitchen. All right, I'm gonna deal with that when I'm done. Why, why does, it doesn't matter how tidy I try to be, everything always turns out to be messy. Not right, people, it's just not right. All right, we're just gonna move this around. Oh, there's even paint on my fridge. So we're just gonna move this around, cover most of our canvas, maybe to about there. And you know what? I told you I have absolutely no plan other than I'm just gonna play. So here we go. Not every swipe has to be full of cells. It can just be fun. We're really just basically creating maybe a background for something. I don't know. We're going to stir that and we're just going to keep dumping out puddles.
So everything is in my swipey base. There's cell mix. There's might be a little bit of satin enamels. I'm not 100% sure at this point. But it all just makes an interesting base, I think. It's hard for you guys to see. Maybe we should just leave it like that. No. No, we should not. I'd like to have a little bit more white in here, though. So let's do that. Let's just add a tiny bit of base coat. It's my pattern. So this gray color, other than the additives that we use, this gray color is the remnants of what you see landing on my plastic. And at the end of the pouring evening, I just scoop it up into like kind of a balloon shape and I just dump it back into a cup. And that's my base. All right, we're gonna build another puddle. Same thing, dirty gray. Um, let's, uh, I was going to say let's swipe it, but I don't know if I can swipe with one hand. Hmm. Okay. Orange, right out of the bottle, from the dollar store. Cheapy, cheapy. Bisque, beige, whatever we're going to call it. TLP mix, my fancy mix. Some white. Some more orange. Some black. And for the sake of not having enough hands, we'll just blow it out. So this time, this is black foam gel. Oh, let's put some lemon sorbet in here too. Let's just add it all. I'm trying so hard to use up all my extra paints. And that's what you're seeing. Okay, that's gonna be our next pretty puddle. So we're just gonna give this a second. Maybe we'll do some stretching and tipping. I can't use copper because it's in the pot on the floor. Okay, my favorite dollar store putty knife, which has been used so many times for so many things. When it's not doubling as a paint instrument, I use it to scrape the paint off the floor. All right, we're going to scoop up this puddle. And now we're going to try to create some interesting shapes by turning our hand and just really kind of playing with this. So depending on how you turn your hands and how deep you put it, will create different patterns. So for this pattern, which everybody thought was pretty cool, and I did too, I'm just lifting my palette knife and just basically touch it down and leave a space, pick it up. It's super, super simple. And let's do it again. Let's come in over here this time. Oh, there's a lot of black there. Oh, well. So, so we'll do the same thing. Down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. So it just makes those those little lines. That's all that does. 
So I'm not super happy with this at all right now. But we're going to do some more stretching. So the black, I don't like the black concentration. But stretching it out makes a huge difference and you just never know what's going to come of anything. We can always add to it. We don't have to be satisfied with what we pour. Okay, let's stretch that right down. I think we're going to put another petal through here because I don't like it and I have nothing to lose. Same dirty gray. And this one is Atelier Blue Black, I believe. And I think it's got a little bit of something else in it, but I don't remember what the something is. My funny white. Black boom and some beige. And we'll do the same thing. Here we go. And again, we're just going to let that sit. I'm going to get some of these things out of the way so that when I do my cleanup, I have less mess to deal with other than my fridge and my floor. Okay, so let's just, let's just fiddle with this for a minute. Uh, this is a, actually it's, I think it's for cake making. Not sure how I feel about it. But it's fun to just be creative. Okay, let's just keep playing, you guys. Same thing, big scoop.
Big scoop and a dribble. My creativity just gets weirder and weirder every day. I'm just gonna pull this, I'm gonna let this stretch right down. And a lot of that's gonna come off because the bits that I like are down at the bottom. Look at all the bumpies. I don't like the bumpies, you guys. I don't like them at all. I didn't want to go like that either. stretching I pushed too deep on this corner and I exposed the underneath so let's just let's drop it all down let's get rid of that corner Chaos, my friends, chaos in the kitchen tonight. So if I, I didn't really intend to paint and I had no intention to video, but sometimes funky things happen and I wish I had. Them. So if I had my glasses on, it might be better too. Racing the boo boos. I'd like to put one swooshy thing here and just kind of maybe soften that a bit. This is super fun for me, you guys. I know if you guys are like, oh my God, what's she doing? I'm not a traditional sort of painter. I don't do anything traditionally. When I used to paint with brush and palette knife and sponges, it was always like really bizarre, weird abstracts. And then I just absolutely fell in love with the Sheely Bloom. Um, and I set my goals to sort of figure out how to do it. And once I did that, then it just kind of expanded from there because there's so many different things that I can do with my paints mixed up like that that just create some really cool things. Um, this is really weird. I know that. Uh, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I do. 
fun to experiment, you guys. Just, you know what? Take your paints and take them out and just play. And then, you know what? Half of these weird things that I do is because I'm not happy with what I've poured. So before I go scraping it, you know, go the distance. Just make some lines in it, swirl it, twirl it, modify it. Do whatever you got to do to try to salvage it. Because I've said this a million times. Some of the pieces that I liked the bulk and the most that I've done are the pieces that have evolved out of nothing. It's about trying to make something out of nothing sometimes. And seriously, that is where I've created some of the most cool pieces. I have a really large piece in my bedroom that's just this wild abstract. And I must have worked it for the longest time. Like it took me at least two hours of changing it and tweaking it and moving this and moving that and taking this away. So I'm gonna bring you in and show you some of the close-ups of this. It's got some super cool things. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I get that. Not everybody drinks tea. I don't drink tea. All right, my friends. I'm going to put you on hold and pop you down. Okay, we're back off hold. And I'm going to kill the light so it's going to change color, but then I can zoom in. Okay, here we go. The walkthrough. Chaos, my friends. Absolute chaos. Look at all these pretty sections. So the orange was dollar store paint right out of the bottle. No mix, no medium. So here's what all these funky little lines just look like. So I think in between the cells and the varieties of color, I, th I just think it's pretty cool actually. It's definitely out there. Somewhat like me. I'm a little bit out there too, you guys. But it's fun. All right, I bring you back up to the top for the whole piece. And maybe that's what we'll call this. We'll call it chaos. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me on this Monday night. This was just experimental play, and you guys came along for the ride. Uh, will I keep it? I'm not really sure. Uh, sometimes I have to sit on it and look at it in the morning. All right, my friends, thank you all for joining me and commenting and questioning. And you know what? It's all right to say, Blech. go for it. Okay, guys, bye for now.